Hey everybody, today's question is, how do I get sexy again after having a child? Well, you're in luck because I have a six step process to help you do that. The first step is to take a look at pain. Oftentimes after childbirth, women experience pain during sex and there could be any number of reasons why this is happening. But the number one reason I saw in my research was actually scar tissue. The number two reason being lack of lubrication. We oftentimes don't lubricate the way that we did before we gave birth. And that's because of reason number two. So the second step is to get your biochemistry checked out. What's going on with your hormones? So your body is actually in a state while you're breastfeeding, after you've just had a baby, where your libido is suppressed due to hormones. So we gotta get our libido boosted back up or just understand that, hey, I'm in this state where my libido maybe isn't what it used to be and have mind over matter. I did that during my postpartum time where it was just like, all right, I know that I'm in this biochemical state where I don't necessarily want to have sex but I need to keep that connection with my partner. That's step number three. So number three is reconnection with your partner. You're in a new place. The two of you need a new way to connect. My partner, what we did after I had my baby was that we actually scheduled time just to be intimate together. And this didn't even mean having intercourse. It meant just cuddling. It meant holding each other. It meant going, oh my gosh, there's, there's your face. I haven't slept in three days, but I still really love you. And so all of those kinds of things to help you reconnect. The fourth piece is getting your sexy back. A lot of women feel like, oh, what is going on with this body after I've given birth? My boobs are different. My hips are different. I feel like a house, or maybe I feel like, like I'm losing weight too fast because I'm breastfeeding. So there's all this stuff going on with your body and what can you do to really feel great? I went to the gym every day. I know that may sound like a lot for a new mom, but the gyms oftentimes have babysitting. It was a reprieve for me to be like, oh, I have two hours of babysitting and I can go and work out. And that felt really great. Next step is the fifth step is actually having great communication. So can you work on your communication skills? I call it communication for connection so that you learn how to really communicate with your partner about your needs, about authenticity, about what's really going on in this time. It's really important that you stay connected and communicating with one another throughout this time. And then the final and sixth step is Get an awesome sex education and experiment in that education. You're in a new body, you're in a new place, and you have to get educated about this new state that you're in. What are things that you could do that maybe aren't intercourse after a baby? Because there's gonna be that time where you can't have sex, where you don't feel like having sex, and although the doctor may give you the six week go ahead because your cervix is healed, you may need more time. And it's okay to be gentle with yourself, but educate yourself about what else can we do to stay connected? What other things can we do? And how can we experiment in this new body, in this new period in life? Those would be my six steps. Until next time, fill your life with pleasure.